Prosecutor Glynis Breitenbach's disciplinary hearing was scheduled to get underway here at the NPA's headquarters in Silverton, Pretoria. But it was delayed because Media24 brought an application to have the internal hearing open to journalists. Breitenbach was suspended last month ostensibly because of her handling of the Kumba ICT mining rights case. But she argues she was sidelined in order to stop her prosecuting former crime intelligence head Richard Mdluli. The National Prosecuting Authority opposed the application, saying it would set a problematic precedent, as all NPA employees could have their hearings open to the media. It also argued it needed to protect the integrity of the process. After four hours of argument behind closed doors here, advocate Glynis Breitenbach walked down the stairs without any comment for the media. But her legal team says it did support the application brought by Media24 today because it believes justice is better served by an open and public inquiry. Glynis Breitenbach supports um, the application by City Press for the media to cover this proceedings. Uh, advocate Wim Trengrove stood up in court and that he said justice served in the open is always better than behind a closed door. Um, he also said that he um, wholeheartedly supported the application of the media to cover these proceedings uh, and that they believed it was a matter of serious public interest um, and not something that should be held behind, behind closed doors. Well obviously she's disappointed. She's suspended and she wants to go back to work and uh, she's disappointed about the fact that the matter could not be finalised. The chairperson of the inquiry will make a decision on media access next week, but the disciplinary hearing has been postponed for a month. In the interim, Breitenbach and her legal team will go to the Labour Court in Johannesburg to challenge her suspension. Mandy Wiener, Eyewitness News, NPA Headquarters, Silverton. Eyewitness News, in touch, in tune and independent.